Revelations Reorder. I have taken the paragraphs about the seven churches, the seven vials of wrath, the seven trumpets, and the seven seals. I've separated them, and with the in between chapters, we shall see. If it tells a story beginning with things that were happening in the 1920s up to the present day and beyond. Revelation 1.1 and these are summaries. By his angel unto his servant John to the seven churches which are in Asia from him which is, was and to come and from the seven spirits before his throne, and from Christ, who is the faithful witness. He is coming with the clouds. Every eye shall see him. I am the Alpha and Omega, says Lord God. On the Isle of Patmos, John heard a voice like a trumpet, saw seven golden candlesticks, in the midst one like son of man, robed to his feet, golden girdle round his breast, hair of his head was white as snow-white wool, his eyes flamed like fire, his feet gleamed like burned brass, voice like rushing waters, Right hand held seven stars, mouth two-edged sword, face shone as sun. So that would be 1920-ish to 1940. That happened then. Next one, 1920 to 19 to 1940 to 1960-ish. Revelation 4. Door in heaven opened. First voice trumpet. Throne. Gleam of jasper and cornelian, which are red. Rainbow bright, as bright as emerald. 24 seats, 24 elders in white, with crowns of gold. Voices thundering, lightnings out of the throne. Seven lamps, seven spirits of God. Sea of glass. Four living creatures full of eyes. Lion, calf, ape, eagle. Six wings, all giving glory to God. Right hand of one on throne, book written on both sides, sealed with seven seals, no one able to open the seals. Only Lion of Judah, Root of David, has prevailed, Lamb with marks of slaughter, seven horns and seven eyes. The seven eyes are the seven spirits of God sent out to the whole world. All bless the one on the throne and the Lamb. Next stage, 1960 to 1980. Revelation 12. Woman robed with the sun, beneath her feet the moon, crown of twelve stars, pregnant in anguish from labour, cried out to be delivered. Second wonder in heaven, red dragon, seven heads, ten horns, and seven crowns, with tails swept third of the stars, flung to earth. Dragon stood in front of woman to devour child. She gave birth to male who was destined to rule with an iron rod. God snatched child to throne. Woman fled to wilds, had a place 1260 days. War in heaven, Michael and angels versus dragon and his angels. Dragon losing, thrown down from heaven, devil and his angels. This is the hour of victory. Rejoice in heavens.
but woe to those on earth and sea. Devil is down, knowing time is short. Dragon pursues woman, spews water, but earth swallows it. Then he goes to war with her offspring, those who keep the commandments. Took his stand on seashore. Now we're on to stage four, which would be 1980 to 2000-ish. Revelation 13. Out of the sea a, ble a beast rising, ten horns, seven heads, on horns ten crowns, each head blasphemous name. Like a leopard, feet like bear, lion like mouth. Dragon gave it power. One head death blow, but healed. Whole world worshipped beast and dragon. Beast allowed forty-two months. Ruled over all except those in roll of living. The scroll of the living. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Another beast Two horns like a lamb, spoke like a dragon, made all worship the first beast, did miracles, deluded people, image of the beast, made the image speak, branded all with the mark, no one allowed to buy or sell, 666. Okay, now on to number five, so we're going... Sorry. That was number four. That was 1980 to 2000. Yeah, that's what I said, right? Nine, no, number five, 2000 to 2020 ish. On Mount Zion stood the Lamb and 144,000. Name and name and Father's name on their foreheads. Sound from heaven like rushing water and deep thunder. It was harpers playing harps, singing a new song, only sung by the one four four thousand. First fruits of humanity for God and the Lamb, they are faultless. Angel flies mid-air with eternal gospel. Fear God and pay him homage. The hour is come. The second angel. Fallen is Babylon. A third angel. Whoever took the mark of the beast shall get God's wrath. Happy are those who die in the faith. Appeared a white cloud, sat on it like a son of man, crown of gold and sharp sickle. Angel shouts, reap. It is ripe, crop harvest. Another angel with a sharp sickle. And another angel shouts with the authority over fire. Gather all the grapes, the winepress of God's wrath. Two hundred miles around, blood up to horses and girdles. That's number five. So number six. Now we're going into the future. 2020 to 2040. Hang on, are we? Yeah, sort of now, starting it now, perhaps. It's actually Revelation 15. Another wonder in heaven, seven angels with seven plagues, last plagues of all, wrath of God consummates, consummated, wrath of God consummated, sea of glass shot with fire, those who won victory over the beast. The sanctuary of the heavenly tent of testimony thrown open. Seven angels with plagues came out, robed and girdled. One of the four living creatures gave out bowls. Sanctuary filled with smoke. No one could enter until plagues completed. Move on to number seven, Revelation 18. So this is then... Hang on a minute. That 
was number six. So that was okay. Yeah, that was number six, 2020 or maybe 2019 or something like that. Get a bit more focused on the dates. I was just doing it roughly. Um, so you know, that's why I was saying ish. <clears throat> so, but this next one, number seven, is going to be, you know, a good bit beyond in the future. Angel came with great splendor, lighting up the earth. Babylon is fallen. It has become dwelling of demons. Come out of her. Rich will reap, weep over her, mourn her jewels and glamour. Smoke and dust, no more partying, no more light. Her judgment vindicates people of God. So then, now it's all maybe 2060, that far in the future. Lamb's wedding day. Happy are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. Worship God only. White horse, its rider, faithful and true. Eyes flamed like fire and many crowns. A name known only to him, garment splattered in blood, was called Word of God. Armies of heaven on white horses followed, mouth sharp sword. It is he who shall rule with an iron rod, and tread the winepress of the wrath, on his robe and thigh written, King of Kings. Angel and son saying, Gather for God's great supper. Eat the flesh of kings and commanders, beast and false prophet, thrown into fire. And then we've got a bit more into the future, 2080. Angel with key to the abyss and chain, seized dragon for a thousand years. Those slain who kept true, revived to reign with Christ many thrones. After one thousand years they gather to war, but will be consumed with fire. That's the bad guys. <laughs> A great white throne, book of the living, judgment. Uh, and then we obviously go beyond a thousand years. New heaven and new earth, no longer any sea. New Jerusalem, God has dwelling among men. New Jerusalem is the bride of the Lamb. And then the last one would be chapter 22. All's good. Okay, so that's, you know, so that's still a bit sort of, sketchy basically what i'll explain again i've taken out the chapters concerned with the seven churches the seven vials of wrath the seven trumpets and the seven seals and with the remaining chapters sectioned them up into so you see 10 10 bits and seeing if the first seven aligned with some of the things going on in the seven churches, the seven vials of wrath, seven trumpets and the seven seals. And they do a bit and they don't a bit. Now, but as to some time dates, what I've, if we look at um, the second vial, the second trumpet and the second seal, well, not so much the second seal, but the second vial and the second trumpet. Uh, second vial is a vial poured out onto the sea. Blood of a dead man, all died in the sea. Uh, seventh trumpet, second trumpet is great mountain burning, cast into sea. Third of the sea to blood. Third of the sea and ships dead. So they mentioned ships. Uh I can't think of another time but World War Two when so many ships were, were 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 destroyed like that. So that um so that indicates to uh nineteen forty and the church on that one says money poor, false Jews, synagogue Satan, tribulation ten days. So they were saying to them, you know, you're, you're poor in money, but you're actually rich, but you don't really know it. Uh, there's this false Jew, synagogue of Satan, there's a tribulation of ten days. So, could indicate World War Two. 
Uh, I also think there's another meaning to be read into these is a, a, a personal journey in your own awakening. So you'd go through the seven stages in a sense. Um, yeah, that's something else. So I just stick with the world events for now. So so that sort of showed me, you know, perhaps that could be uh, certainly 1940. Now if we look at uh, the first trumpet, seal and vial, we've got vial poured out on earth, grievous sore on men with the mark. Now there was a pretty savage flu, um, the Spanish flu, which killed a lot of people. Um, but it's about the earth. And then seventh, first trumpet is hail, fire and blood third of the trees and grass burnt up. Now, I figured maybe with World War I that, that quite a lot of that would have happened. Uh, the seal is noise of thunder, white horse, bow and crown to conquer. Um, so, you know, maybe, you know, it's the first thing, is it white horse indicates it's the first stage of something, it's a beginning. And then... Yeah, um, the church one is, um, they're a tryhard, Ephesus, they're a tryhard, they, they try hard, but they lost their first love, but at least they hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which Nick, old Nick, Satan, I guess. So, making me think about 1920 for that. So if we're following a sort of a, I thought, it's probably 19 years, you see, because a moon cycle is 19 years. So I probably need to change it to 19, so it'd be, I don't know, yeah, 1919, then 1938, and then 1957, 57, and then number four would be 1976, yeah, that sounds more like it, doesn't it? And then... The next one would be 1995. The next one would be 2014. Yeah, I hit the dates now. And then that would make the next one 2023. Okay. All right. Um. So I've got number three sounds like oil. Uh, it's uh, it's all about the rivers and the springs, or what they call the fountains of water. So the vial is on the rivers and springs. It became like blood, for they shed the blood of saints and prophets, so they shall drink it. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> trumpet, great star fell, burning as a lamp. Hit third of the springs and rivers. Wormwood. Third of the waters became wormwood. And I think like oil, you know, plastic, isn't it? That's where plastic comes from. It's kind of got in everywhere. And that's kind of, was that the oil boom time, 1957? You know, I have to check that out. I don't know that much about it. And the seals, it's the black horse, pair of balances. You know how, and then wheat penny three, for three barley. For a penny, hurt not oil or wine. So you know maybe that's the valuable things. Oil has become so valuable. It's it's about everything. Um, at that stage, we're at the woman and woman and the dragon and the child. And this is the church of Pergamos. Good, except some like Nicolaitans. So some a bit into Satanism. In the white stone given a new name written. Okay. Right. Um, then number... So that number four, I've got this, this one down, pollution. So this is from 1976. So third part of uh, the trumpet, third part of the sun, moon and stars darkened. Seal is a pale horse, death followed by hell, a quarter of the 
quarter of earth, kill with sword, hunger, earth, and beasts. The the other one, um, my section I've been doing, it's uh, Revelation 13, first and second beast. The vial is poured out on the sun. Uh, power to scorch men, they blasphemed and repented not. It's the church of Theatira, good, except they suffer Jezebel. Will be given power in the morning star. This is 1976. Sounds very like it. Just there's something about it. Just links. We come to 1995. Fifth trumpet. Now things change here. You see, we get the whoa 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 come in, and that's within the trumpets. Like you know, warnings. These you know we've had some bad stuff, but now these the next ones. Uh, you know, more serious. So we're into 1995. Things are heating up. Fifth trumpet. Star fell. Key of bottomless pit. Apollyon. Smoke locusts. Five months torment except those with God's seal. Fifth seal. Vindication. Wait a little longer. White. White robes given to the faithful. The vial of wrath, fifth one. Vial on the seat of the beast. Filled kingdom with darkness. They gnawed but repented not. Like gnaw as in gnawing something. Like a little mouse. Um, so it's a lot to do with the... What's it to do with? Well, I, I put lies in 1995. I just felt like, well, really, sort of more into 1997 when the Tony Blair got in. You know, it's it's now becoming there's this it's it's changing sort of. It's not so physical. I've put mind actually. I've I've also put parts of the body that we would be going through in our journey as well. And this one would be mind. Church. Sardis, not good, except a few who will walk with him in white. So, kind of not a good stage there. Uh, the, but the, the, the link, but the thing when I'm linking up is Revelation 14, Zion, Lamb and the 144,000, hour is come. So, begin, you know, tribulation. But they're there. You know, it's the start of it. So there's is great and terrible things happening all the time. Number six. Um, this one, so we're up to 2014. Now this is all about the great river Euphrates, mentioned in both the trumpet and the vial. So let's read sixth trumpet. Angels, great river Euphrates. Loosed, prepared for one year, one month, one day, one hour. And that reminded me so much of Isis. There was something about that. Slay a third of men. There's an army mentioned of 200 million here. Horses, heads of lion, fire, smoke, brimstone, no repentance. I'm writing Isis, CIA. The seal, great earthquake, sun black and moon red. Stars fell unto earth, heaven departed as scroll, mountains and islands moved, fear over all. And we're talking here 2014 until 2023, perhaps. And that sounds about right. On my thing, I've got the Revelation 15, seven angels with the seven last plagues. Right, the vial of wrath, sixth vial, great river Euphrates. Water dried up so that kings of east be prepared. Three devil spirits from mouth of dragon, beast and false prophet. To kings and all to gather for Armageddon. And I've linked this with the body part, the heart. This is because of the great Euphrates. You know, why would that be mentioned so much? It's like, like the heart of the earth. So in our personal journey, it's, we're at this heart stage. Church of Philadelphia, good, an open door. False Jews will kneel at your feet. Pillar in the temple, new name and new Jerusalem. 
Now I'm wondering if these last two have switched round. The seventh church, says Laodiceans, lukewarm. He is knocking and will come in for anyone who opens the door. Money rich, but poor. I mean, who wants to be lukewarm? So I'm wondering if the church is uh, mixed up there. Right, and then we move on to the seventh. Seventh, so this would be from 2023. Seventh trumpet. Temple of God opened in heaven. Lightnings, voices, thunderings, earthquakes, great hail. Seventh seal. Silence for half an hour. Lightnings, thunderings, earthquakes, voices. Seventh vial. Into the air. It is done. Great earthquake. Islands fled mountains. Not found. Great hail. I've put this down as people power this stage. And and everything complete. And I think Philadelphia sounds good. Good, an open door. False Jews will kneel at your feet. Pillar in the temple, new name, new Jerusalem. That has to be. And I've got in here, Revelation 18, Babylon is fallen, people of God have indicated. So... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I was, I've called this Revelations Reorder because I was looking to think if I needed to reorder things. But I haven't necessarily reordered things. But So what I read to you before was the bits taken out and then kept in the same order. But we go from Rev 1 to then um, to Rev 4. Then a jump to Rev 12, then 13, then 14, then 15, then jump to 18, then 19, and then 20, 21, 22. So yeah, it's um, it's more sense than I've ever made of uh, revelations myself personally. <laughs> Much more. And I think I can actually accept it now as a legitimate part of the Bible. I think it was written with the right spirit. With the spirit, you could say. And it hasn't been, hasn't been tampered with. And <laughs> it does tell. It does tell a lot of the things that have gone on. So... Jump now.